Welcome to the Lean Six Sigma world, your ultimate destination for mastering Lean Six Sigma. Have you ever used a product or system so well designed that making a mistake seemed almost impossible? That is the power of Poka Yoke, a concept that prevents errors before they happen. In this video, we will explore real world examples of Poka Yoke that you encounter every day without even realizing it. But before we dive in, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And hit that notification bell so that you never miss our power packed videos. Let's get started. Poka Yoke is a Japanese term that means mistake proofing. It was first introduced by Shigeo Shingo as part of the Toyota production system. The idea is simple design processes in a way that prevents mistakes or makes them immediately obvious. One common example is the USB plug. The plug is designed to fit only one way. This simple design prevents users from inserting it incorrectly and damaging the device or port. Another great example is the microwave door. A microwave will not start if the door is open. This poka yoke mechanism prevents accidents and ensures safety without relying on the user's memory. Car manufacturers also use poka yoke extensively. For example, in automatic vehicles, the driver must press the brake pedal before shifting out of the park mode. This design reduces the chance of unintended movement and increases overall safety. In manufacturing plants, color-coded cables and connectors help workers assemble parts correctly. It reduces assembly errors by making it clear which parts fit together. This system not only saves time but also avoids costly mistakes. Another daily life example is ATM machines. They will not allow you to leave without taking back your card. The machine holds onto the cash until you retrieve your card, ensuring users do not forget important items. Along with this another daily life example is the scooter. The scooter will not start until you pull off the legs. In healthcare, poka yoke is used through wristbands with barcodes for patients. Before administering medication, nurses scan the barcode to verify the correct patient and treatment. This basically reduces the risk of medical errors. In conclusion, we have seen that poka yoke is not just a tool for factories. It is a powerful idea that improves safety, quality, and user experience across every part of life. Real-world examples show how simple designs can create major improvements. By learning to spot and apply poka yoke, you can transform processes in your business and daily activities. If you found these examples helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more insightful content. Comment below with your favorite example or share how you have seen Poka Yoke in action. Let us learn and grow together. Stay tuned because we have more exciting Lean Six Sigma insights coming your way. Thanks for your valuable time and I will see you in the next powerful video.